be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the flex tool um, on any piece of audio in Logic Pro 10. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, first off, we're gonna start with an audio track. And um, basically, let's just talk a little bit about what that flex tool is gonna do. Um, what flex, what the flex tool, tool is going to do is allow you to stretch, um, shorten, shrink, um, or extend audio to basically fit any piece of uh, music that you're working with. Uh, it'll sync it up, you know what I'm saying, make it sync up to the BPM and stuff like that. So that's what the flex tool is going to do. The flex tool is up here at the top, this basic um, you know, horizontal hourglass. Basically, when you click that, it's going to give you this option right here. Click that on. You have these different options. Let's go ahead and jump in, man. So first thing I'm going to do is actually go over here to splice, and we're going to get us a um, audio sample. I've already been playing around in here, so I'm going to actually use this one right here. If you look right here, it's at 90 BPM, and our session's at 98. And so what I'm gonna do is bring it in just as an example to show you what we could do with the flex tool to sync this up. Um, in this example, I'm not gonna be importing the tempo, so I'm just gonna do that. So now we have 98 tempo on the actual session and then the actual wave file is 90 BPM. So obviously if I was to turn this down and put on the uh, metronome or whatever, you'll see how it's not gonna line up. You see this little tail right here which can make it kind of hard when it comes to making beats, right? You want to get this in, you want to sync this up, and you want to create a loop and be able to lay your drums down. So you can't do that with this being out of sync. Well, the flex tool is going to help you with that. So all you do is just click on that uh, flex tool up here. Then click on that as well. And the first option is going to select um, for you is going to be the automatic polyphonic option. Now we have these other options right here. But for the most part, this option is going to be the one that you need. OK, so you could do this one speed, telephone, you know, all these other ones. But just work, just focus on this automatic one. Um, so anyway, as you can see here, there's this little tail of audio. It's going to be too much here. It's not synced. Um, once you have the flex tool enabled, there's a couple of different things I'm going to focus on here. So at the end, you can see this uh, parentheses with a greater than or less than signs on here. You're going to want to scroll up until that changes into a parentheses or excuse me, a, a bracket with uh, an audio file on the either side. OK, once you can scroll up and see that, then what you can do now is lengthen this or shrinking this and it will still still keep everything intact. So what I'm going to do, we're going to just move this over here to the ninth bar. And that's going to almost dead, you know, sync this up, as you can see, you know, it's, it's going to be a loop. So let's just play it. We're going to see if how, how good it syncs it up. Alright, so it's almost all the way on point, but if you really listen, there's a couple of notes that are off, okay? Right around here in the third to fifth measure, and then also between the seventh and eighth measure, there's some notes that are off. And then this is where you're going to see, excuse me, you're going to see these little dotted lines. That's where those are going to come in play, okay? So, for instance, if you go ahead and scroll in, you'll notice how these dotted lines could pretty much either line up with... Um, this playhead right here or the measures on the line or they don't so like for instance this guy right here if you look at the audio file you know it gets bigger right here so that's going to be the beginning of a note and if you zoom in some you're going to see that there is a dotted line here so what you're going to want to do is if you want to move this note you're going to want to scroll this up until you just see one of these little guys okay not three but one when you see that one just click on here and you can just move this guy over in place like so see this one you can kind of see that's a little off it should be probably right there 
don't do the three move it up until you see the one and then move that on over what the three is going to do is grab anything all three of these that are around if you do this the one it will just grab just that one line so we have that done here this one looks like it might need to be moved right there that's on point and I have to move these as well so just a little bit of stuff you got to do here and you'll see all right bet so now we did those adjustments now let's check out our file Now it's synced up 100% perfectly, all right? Um, and all the notes are hitting right where they need to just because we'd be able to move them around and synced it up with the flex tool. From here, what we could do is right click on it. Um, actually, let me see here. It's oh, interesting. Well, you could do the hotkey too, um, do control B. And then basically what that's gonna do is bounce the region in place and recreate a whole new audio file. And that's gonna be good because it's gonna basically recreate this with all of the you know changes in, in the sync. So we'll do that. And we'll just go ahead and push that. And now we have this brand new audio file that has all the changes that doesn't necessarily even need to be synced up. So, y'all, that's how you use the Flex tool in Logic Pro 10. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, if there is some type of topic that you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section below. I do respond to those. Appreciate y'all watching again. Make sure you get subscribed and also make sure you head over to our website, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full video courses there with a whole curriculum um, to help keep you on point with your beat making skills and everything like that. You also can grab loop packs and you can also grab templates. Appreciate y'all. Head over to our site and I will see you in the next video.